Did a water test here. It's um, definitely hard. So we're going to see how hard it is. All right, we got 22 grains hard. So the water softener is definitely not working. The water has a little yellowish tinge to it. That's probably from tannins in the water. They do come and go. You got some algae and uh, things growing on the side here. It looks like it was cleaned recently. Um, similar to bleach really well. You can still see some things floating in there. So um, as this turns on, stuff comes from the well and gets into here. Also, the water pressure seems a little low. This pressure tank here absolutely has no air in it and it's a little waterlogged so that tank is bad this switch is good pressure gauge is bad as you can see there's absolutely no water on here so it's not pressurized and it's still reading no water water softener there's a lot of dead frogs and lizards in the bottom so basically what's happening is that that's getting inside of here going inside of the water softener and, and keep going back and forth. This tank here, it's it's low on air. It's about 15 pounds. It can we can try airing it up, but most likely it's like a tire and it leaks back out over time. But um, you know it is holding some air. But again, once they have any leak whatsoever, they leak back out. So I could fill it back up to 38 psi, but it'll leak right back out if it's got a small tear in the bladder. So would recommend to replace it. This switch here looks a little rusty. Definitely would change it out. We're gonna take a look inside the pipes, inside the house. Basically here we got some algae and bacteria growth. That's algae and bacteria in the pipes itself. That's all inside the house. Um, simple sanitations will fix that. Uh, we will actually um, clean and sterilize and sanitize the house lines and kill any and all bacteria in the lines. Oh, it's pretty thick in there. So all in all, you just need to clean and sterilize the tank, uh, replace this tank. This one you might be able to air up. Go ahead and replace that gauge there. That switch, um, the water softener, I mean, I can fix it up, but your water's hard. It's already in bypass when I got here, so it's not turned on. So it's definitely some issues with the softener and you don't want that turned on right now anyways because you're going to get bacteria in the house from all the nasty stuff in there. So um, put a reconditioned softener on or a new one, um, but you can definitely uh, get things up and running and get it up to par. Give me a call back if you have any questions, 239-201-2074.